This is just a short video on how to use Meet for teachers, especially turning the student screen to you so you can see what they're doing. Okay, so if you're going to start a Google Meet, first you're going to go click into the little waffle on your google.com and you're going to find the Meet app. There you're going to click on it and it's going to ask you if you want to join or start a meeting. So you are going to want to uh, push this plus sign and join or start that meeting. You're also getting a little box that comes up like this. It will give you a code, but I found that those codes a lot of times don't work with my students. So I just have a code that our classroom uses all the time. Our class code is help. So anytime my students need to get on, they know that the code is always the same thing. I also think it's helpful to have a specific time that you're using meet so that students always know what the code is and when they can get on. All right, so before you get live, you're going to see a screen that looks like this. You're going to be able to see your face and it's gonna have your mic down here and your camera. So um, I always think it's a good idea to go ahead and choose if you wanna have your mic on immediately and your camera on. I usually keep them both off until a student comes in. So your computer will beep at you and you know that somebody is actually on meet at that time and then I'll go in and turn on my mic and my camera so that they can see me and I can talk to them. So make that decision before you actually go into your meet if you wanna start with them on or off and then you'll push join now. That will take you into a live meet. Also just another important kind of tidbit is remember if the green dot is lit up at the top of your laptop screen, your camera is on even if you're not on that meet page at that time. I have a, I like to keep my camera off. I have five little ones running around and you never know what you're gonna see or hear. So I tend to have everything muted and the camera off and I know it's off because I don't have that green dot on until I actually need to speak with a student. Then I'll push the camera on and the light will shine up on the top of the screen, that green will. So just be mindful about that. If it's, on, if it's green, you are being watched. All right, another good idea when you get into Meet is you might wanna record your meeting. Um, this is just good protection for yourself. So if you decide to do that, you're gonna tap this little box at the bottom of the screen. It's got an arrow in it, an upward arrow. Tap on that and it will bring up this whole menu here. You'll just click on record meeting. It'll begin recording. At the end of the Meet, you don't have to do anything to turn it off or anything like that. But at the end of the Meet, the recording will stop and it will send it to your Google Drive. You'll receive an email in your inbox that says that it has been recorded and sent to your Google Drive. It usually takes five to 10 minutes to get there. And once it's there, you can name the meeting maybe with the day's date and keep them in a folder just so you have them. So what you're gonna see when you first go in and you're actually live and you're not recording anymore at this point is in your upper right hand corner, you're going to see a picture of yourself and you'll also see a picture or these little circles with their initials of your participants. Um, you can see here that Christian, he had his microphone off. Now, um, you will also be able to click on each of them. So Christian didn't originally have his microphone off. I clicked on his name and you'll see a couple of symbols below their name. This microphone here gives you the option to mute that student. And this button here gives you the option to remove the student. So you always have the option to remove a participant or to mute them if you need to. There's also this chat box. I don't really use that much in my class, but you can click on it and actually send messages, kind of like text messaging within the Meet. All right, so if you need your kids to see your screen, there's an option to do that. Sometimes I found this to be helpful if they can't find something on Google Classroom I can mirror my screen to them and show them exactly where to go. Um, so what you would do is again, you'd go down to that lower right hand side of your screen and you'll find that box again with the arrow and it will give you this option to present your entire screen or a window. You can choose which one. I usually go entire screen so they can see everything on my screen. Click on that and then everything I'm seeing or everything that I'm seeing they can see and that sometimes helps them navigate and find the things that they're looking for. Now this is probably the one that I use even more frequently is if you need to see their screen. Um, so this is what their screen's going to look like. They're going to have, you'll see up here, they've got their volume, closed captioning, it tells them how many participants are, it's got that chat box, some information and these three dots. 
So in that top right hand corner of their screen, those three dots, that's where they're going to need to tap if they want to show you their screen. Once they tap those buttons, this menu is going to pop up at the bottom. And so um, at this point, they're going to want to push present screen and that will let you see what's on their screen. Okay, so once they're presenting your, their screen, they're gonna get this little pop-up box and they're going to click on start broadcast. This is going to allow you to see everything going on on their screen and you're actually gonna see this message. It'll be the first thing you see on their screen until they get out of it. Um, they really don't need to tap anything else on me at this point. The message will go away and they're just going to push their home button and you'll be able to see their main home screen and then they can go to whatever app it is that they wanna show you, tap on it, and you'll be able to see them moving around in Epic or Seesaw or Google Classroom or whatever app it is that you've assigned um, and you'll just kind of help direct them from there. Okay, and then this is kind of what it will look like on your screen. So here is my computer screen, this screenshot of my computer screen. You can see that it's Christian presenting. I can, and this is actually a picture of his iPad screen and I can see what's going on in real time. I can see him slide through the different pages the different home pages that he has and then I can see him click on different apps and go into things as he's doing it so I can continue to navigate or help him navigate. I really like this because it's like you're looking over their shoulder like you would do in class if they got stuck on something so it's really really helpful. Okay so I hope this helps and always feel free to email me if you have any questions. Thanks.